My name is Sarah Sheridan. I'm mostly a historical novelist, but I do some other things as well. Um, I'm a Twitter evangelist and a SWAT and a member of the Society of Authors in Scotland and also a board member of the Writers' Collective 26. I write two series of historical novels. One of them is a uh, murder mystery set in the 1950s and they're cosy crime noir. They're kind of Miss Marple with an edge. And I have a female detective called Mirabel Bevan whose heart has been broken during the course of World War II and is recovering during the course of the 50s by solving a series of mysterious whodunits uh, on the south coast of England. I also write another set of books which are standalone but are all within the same period. So they're from 1820 to 1845. Uh, they're really sort of fictionalised accounts uh, of major explorers within that period. So there's one book set in China, for example, another one on the Arabian Peninsula, and I've just finished writing a book set in 1820s Rio in Brazil. The history is really compelling to me. You know, where did we come from and why are we where we are and actually where are we going? You know, the history, the study of history is not about the past. The study of history is about how do you face the future? Um, and so I really started there. I started being interested in history and then interested in the gaps when you go into the archive and I'm a SWAT, so I spend a lot of time in the archive. You know, you get part of the story. You read these letters, and you can come across, you know, a dusty old box, and no one's opened that box for a hundred years. And then you go inside, and there's a letter, and, you know, it's like speaking to that person who lived 200 years ago, and they're telling you about their day and their place in life and um, what they're hoping to achieve. And uh, this, there's a whole load of gaps involved in that. You know, you never get a whole story. Uh, and so as a fiction writer, that's really attractive. You sort of want to fill in the gaps and figure out how it might have happened. I write characters that are fully fictional as well. Mirabel Bevan is completely fictional, but she's completely fictional on the, on the basis of having watched, for example, a lot of video footage of women who lived in London and around Brighton in the early 1950s and looking at their experiences. So, yeah, you're, you're, you're constantly sort of filling in those gaps, but it has to come from some kind of reality in order to be believable. But yeah, I think when you're working with historical characters, you know, may, even making up historical characters completely from scratch, you sort of want to know um, uh, a little bit of what the reality would have been like with the real people. And sometimes I write about real people. You know, sometimes you've got a whole series of letters or diaries or something uh, uh, from one particular character. Uh, and, and you then sort of build on that. So they're, they're actually an extension of something that is very real. There are a lot of book festivals, 140, 150 book festivals all over the UK, and hardly any of them, foolishly, are dedicated to historical fiction. So I was really excited when I saw what Summer Hall was doing. The programme that Ian Gale was putting together over the weekend and absolutely, definitely wanted to be involved in that. And I think it's an initiative that will grow and grow because there is a real appetite for this kind of writing. The, the books I write are cosy crime noir and I sometimes go to crime festivals but I didn't start to write these books because of the crime, I started to write these books because of the history and that's the bit that I'm interested in uh, if I'm honest so yeah absolutely coming to somewhere where everybody's interested in history is kind of a bit of a dream for me.